I heard so much about the redeemed Christian Church of God since I was born. Redeem Daddy Jill. Redeem Daddy Jill. <laughs> Just like that, I was already a teenager before I ever got to know that this Redeem is actually a church. The year was 1952. Reverend Josiah Akindayomi started a small Christian group. They met frequently at a house on Willoughby Street, a Bute Meta. The group was first called the Glory of God Fellowship. What started as a group of just nine members soon began to grow exponentially. The report of many miraculous signs and wonders brought many people to see this Christ Jesus that Pa Akindayomi is preaching about. Pa Akindayomi set his mind to believe the word of God in totality. And science followed his ministry just as the word of God said. After a clear revelation from God, Reverend Josiah changed the name of the group to the Redeemed Christian Church of God. But the revelation was more than just a name, it was a covenant. God told Reverend Josiah that this church would spread around the earth and that the church would endure till the glorious return of the Lord Jesus Christ. That kind of vision can only manifest when God sees people who are really faithful and committed. It's a vision bigger than one man. You know it's beyond you. So you are not looking to be a powerhouse or anything. You just want to be obedient and let God work His works through you. The vision for RCCG is clearly beyond one man. God had laid out the plan for RCCG to get to the ends of the earth and the journey would flow through faithful people. As Reverend Josiah Akindayomi prepared to meet the Lord, he committed the vision into the hands of another faithful man. His name? Enoch Adejare Adeboye. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The spread of the gospel through the redeemed Christian Church of God has been phenomenal. Every member is taking the gospel out there. The RCCG has brought the gospel to the streets of Nigeria, making it accessible to every person. Through evangelism and church planting, it has also spread to countries of the world. This is not a competitive church. It is growing because the word is powerful and it prevails. You will see too that RCCG is a unifying force for Christianity. That is why Lekki 98 was so successful. CNN projected that over 7 million people were in attendance. And RCCG's rise has been monumental ever since. People from every denomination, every walk of life, everywhere just gathering to worship Jesus. That is the beauty of the gospel. Nothing can stop a church that is on a mission to spread the gospel. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. RCCG is on a mission to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. Millions have been reached, yet there are still over 5,000 people groups that have never heard of the gospel. The work is not yet done. And therefore, this is a call to you, as we have already seen proof that the gospel cannot be stopped, regardless of the time, regardless of the age, 
regardless of the technology in place, in whatever you do, whatever space you find yourself, whatever sphere you find yourself, that you surrender to the will of God, that you continue to surrender, that He may be able to use you to bring about the fulfillment as the gospel of the Lord fills the entire earth. God bless you. For some people, uh, we have arrived. I will tell you when we arrive. When we have an auditorium the size of Ibadan, then we will be beginning. <laughs>